Whenever I review a pair of noise cancelling earbuds, you guys tell me to check out the Bose Quiet Comfort series, which I've done finally, and wow. These are the Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra earbuds, and they're the first Bose earbuds I've used for many, many years. However, if you know me, you know that I'm absolutely obsessed with the Bose QC45s. But the question remains, for me anyway, can Bose take what they do with their over-ear noise cancelling headphones and package it up into this tiny little thing here? You guys have been telling me, yes, they can. Check out the Bose Quiet Comfort earbuds. Your life will change forever. So I've done that and you're right. Thanks to Bose for sponsoring this video and for sending me these ahead of time. But all you guys care about is why do I think they're so good? So let's get into it. Okay, let's start with the pricing and the specs of the Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra earbuds. They arrive in October and they cost £299.95 in the UK, and they have some interesting and fairly tantalising upgrades over the Earbuds 2 that they replace. The big headline feature is Bose's immersive audio, which I'll get onto later, but they do also have Snapdragon Sound certification, and that uses the Aptex Adaptive High Res Audio and Low Latency Codec from Qualcomm. There's also Google Fast Pair, a new metallic finish, which is available in either black or white smoke, and a new notch slash key alignment feature for the stability bands, which I'll come onto later, that makes them easier to swap in and out. The buds are also IPX4 sweat and water resistant, and the Bluetooth is 5.3 with a range of 9 meters and multi-point connectivity. When it comes to battery life, we get 6 hours, and the charging case holds an extra 3 charges. Why don't other manufacturers explain it in that way? It's so simple. That gives us 24 hours of total listening time, and 2 hours can be gained from a very quick 20 minute charge. Just a quick note on the setup process for these, because I am, I completely admit it, one of those people who connects his new earbuds to his phone via Bluetooth and completely ignores the request to install the app. But this time I did it and I'm glad I did because I love what Bose does with the setup process. Straight away you're given the chance to rename your earbuds so you can leave them as the Quiet Comfort Ultra or you can choose from a predefined list from Bose which includes bass bumpers, ear confetti or penguin because well, why not? You're then taken through the rest of the setup process for the earbuds, and we learn some very interesting things, including the fact that when you put these into your ear, they play an orchestral tone. And the reason they do that is to tune these for your ears. So they use that orchestral tone to measure your ears for the best sound and for the best noise cancelling. And it's such a smart idea because it means you don't have to run through some kind of test where you put them in and press a button. It just does it every single time you place these into your ears. I absolutely love that. We're also shown how to choose the right tips and bands and introduced to the immersive audio feature with a couple of demos. So these really are a pair of earbuds for which you need to download that app. Right, noise cancelling. And for the last 12 months, my default recommendation when it comes to noise cancelling earbuds has been Apple's AirPods Pro second generation. Not anymore. There is a new king in town, and it is the Bose Quiet Comfort Ultras. Everything goes so much quieter with these. It is utterly unbelievable. There is literally no competition between the Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra and any other pair of noise cancelling earbuds I've tried in the last, well, the last three years. I think there's a couple of reasons these are so good at noise cancelling. The first thing is the tech built into them. So there is a thing called custom tune which automatically changes the noise cancellation based on your environment, but also it's the combination of the ear tip and the band. So even before the active noise cancellation kicks in, you're getting an awful lot of passive noise cancellation just because that fit is so good. Even the aware mode is very impressive, so that is when you filter in the outside world so you can be aware of your surroundings and hear your own voice, which is incredibly useful for calls, and these are very good calling earbuds. There's another very useful feature that I've not seen on a pair of earbuds before, where if you take one of them out, the remaining earbud, the noise cancellation is dropped automatically to the lowest level. So it gives you this kind of balanced listening experience. And for someone like me who takes calls like this, I just leave one earbud in one of my ears. It's very useful because normally I'd have to adjust the ambient mode to make it sound a bit more natural, but this does it automatically, which is brilliant. So when it comes to noise cancelling, I am utterly bowled over by these. The Quiet Comfort Ultra are the best noise cancelling earbuds I have ever 
ever used. And I think Bose has successfully reached that stage where if you don't want to buy a big pair of over-ear noise cancelling headphones, then you can buy these and get pretty much, in fact, you can get definitely the same experience. So we are off to an incredibly good start, but what do they sound like? I'm not gonna labor the point here either. The Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra earbuds sound fantastic. In fact, really, really good, straight out of the box without any EQing. You can EQ them if you want to, and you can choose from some presets from Bose, but I liked the sound that Bose has chosen for these. It just fit most genres that I listen to perfectly. And just like the noise canceling performance, the sound these produce is way out of proportion to their size. It, they just sound absolutely huge. They even dealt brilliantly with my headphone killer test track, which is Pop Evil's Breathe Again, and that is no mean feat for a pair of earbuds. But more importantly, the Quiet Comfort Ultra sound alive, they're non-fatiguing, and they're exciting. There's also no distortion, the mids are clear, the top end doesn't grate, and that low end is so, so creamy. I'm not an audiophile, so I don't dive into frequency by frequency tests and analysis for these kind of earbuds, but what I do want to know is do these sound £299.95 good? Because that's quite a lot of money to spend on a pair of earbuds. The good news is, if you do spend that money, you will not feel shortchanged with these. Straight away, they sound expensive enough to justify that price, and that's before we get on to the headline feature, and that is the immersive audio. It's basically a very different way of consuming audio content compared to stereo. We get two settings for this from the Quiet Comfort Ultra. The first one is called Still, and that's when it feels like you have a pair of speakers in front of you, and if you turn your head left and right, the audio stays right there. So it's very hard to explain unless you experience it, but it's just absolutely mesmerizing. So as you might guess, the still setting is if you're sat down and watching TV or listening to music. However, if you're moving around, if you're going for a run or just walking around the house, there's a setting for that called motion. And that's the same thing where the sound feels like it's coming from a different source, but as you move your head, the sound source follows you. And it's very quick. You can move your head pretty quickly and the whole sound stage moves with you. If you haven't heard spatial audio, there is that wow factor that you get straight away. That does dissipate after a while. Naturally, you get used to it. So the key thing is, and the big question with this, is does it add to the listening experience. When it comes to music, it makes studio recordings sound almost live. So again, it sounds like they're coming from in front of you and the width of the stereo field is much, much bigger. And there's also a perceivable height as well. So you can feel things happening above you as well. Again, you can't experience this on this video. I can't really explain it well enough. You've, you've got to put a pair of these into your ears to feel it. And it works brilliantly, as you might guess, for live albums. So if you're listening to the Eagles playing live or Pink Floyd playing live, it feels much, much bigger with spatial audio than it does with traditional stereo. But where that immersive audio really comes alive, literally, is when you're watching your TV. So if you put these on, turn on that still mode and watch your favorite movie, it feels huge. And because these have such great low bass response, that really adds to the movie experience. For me, I'm fairly traditional when it comes to listening to music. I like stereo, but it is nice to have the option for that great big wide virtual soundstage for live music. But trust me, when you first experience immersive audio with the Quiet Comfort Ultra, when you're watching movies and TV shows, you will not look back. When it comes to comfort, the Quiet Comfort Ultra do live up to their name. They are easily one of the most comfortable pair of earbuds I've ever used. I've worn them for long stretches without any discomfort whatsoever, and I think that's down again to this combination of the ear tip and that rubber band. And if you're wondering, they are very easy to change, so the tip comes off and goes back on very easily, and the band has this very useful marker where you just basically slip it on and then line up the marker with the other marker on the bud and you're good to go. Now there's no physical buttons on these, they use touch controls, but they didn't annoy me, which is the litmus test 
for earbuds with touch controls. If you put them into your ear, and as soon as you do that, you accidentally press play or change the volume or turn off noise cancelling, that is just immediately annoying. That hasn't happened with these at all. It's the normal tap to play, tap to pause, triple tap to go backwards, and you can also run your finger up and down to change the volume. But you can also set shortcuts. So if you want a shortcut on here for your preferred immersive audio setting, you can do that, which I think would be very useful if you're regularly switching between immersive audio for movies and regular stereo for your music. It's also definitely worth noting that these have automatic play and pause, so when you take them out of your ears, the music stops, and when you put them back in, it resumes. And that is a feature that is curiously absent from way too many earbuds. The battery performance is fantastic, and I love the fact that Bose insists on telling you how much battery is remaining when you put these into your ears. Again, that is a feature that I really miss when I use other headphones. The case is not too obtrusive in your pockets or in your bag. It's also well made, and it has that classic satisfying thing that you can't stop doing. I also think they're a nice looking pair of earbuds. I do like the stem design. That is my preferred design for earbuds. They look premium enough, again, to justify the cost, and they feel substantial without being too heavy. But one question still remains. Should you buy them? I love the Bose QC45s because of their all-round daily driver brilliance. The Quiet Comfort Ultra do the same thing as a pair of earbuds, but they raise the game massively when it comes to sound, noise cancelling, comfort, and those all-important convenience features. I am blown away by these guys. Thank you for telling me to check out the Quiet Comfort earbuds. If you're thinking about buying a new pair, of noise cancelling earbuds, these have to be on your shopping list. In fact, they need to be at the top of it. These are really going to take some beating.